Louisiana's coastal lowlands are sinking underwater. This satellite image shows the Louisiana coast in 1956. Light blue areas show the land that's been lost in 50 years. The last 50 to 100 years, we've lost more than 1,000 square miles of land due to erosion. That is the conversion of marshlands, swamplands, into open water, you know, and people say, well, how does, how does that occur? It occurs through submergence, saltwater intrusion, storm impacts like Hurricane Katrina. These all are driving coastal erosion rates on the order of 20 square miles a year. In 2005, the worst year on record, Louisiana lost more than 200 square miles of land. When Hurricane Katrina hit the state, 20-foot seas crashed over coastal lowlands swept up navigation channels directly into New Orleans. 50 years ago, New Orleans was protected by 80 miles of marsh. Today, we have maybe five miles of intact marsh. It's all gone. It's all chopped up. It's been ripped up by canals. It's been ripped up by oil and gas access channels. It is a mess. The storm Rita, the storm Katrina, they came right up over that open water and slammed into the city we wouldn't have suffered these losses had we had the marshes out there. Carlton Dufresneau is executive director of the Puncher Train Basin Foundation. He's going to fly over the area where Katrina made landfall. The levees that made it were the ones that had significant wetlands in front of it. The levees that made it through the storm, the ones that did, like here along the Mississippi River Gulf Outlet, they just got washed away. The Gulf Outlet, the MRGO, used to be an inland ship channel a shortcut to the Mississippi River. But in 50 years, it has tripled in size and become exposed to open sea. Dufresneau wants the Army Corps of Engineers to divert much more fresh water from the Mississippi into the wetlands. This used to be a freshwater marsh. Today, it is an impounded wetland at best, and there's a tremendous amount of saltwater intrusion. Because of all the salt water, we can't get any significant growth of wetlands down here below us. So plugging the MRGO, reintroducing river water from the west will allow the flows to go back historically from the west to the east as they did before we humans started monkeying with the system and hopefully allow this, this area to start regenerating by itself and become self-sustainable again. That's ultimately the goal. We've got to have the coast in a self-sustaining condition. There's growing consensus that if New Orleans is going to stay, then the Mississippi River has to go. Levees keep the water out, but tons of silt are washed out to sea, and the delta is disappearing. This is a challenge that's virtually unprecedented, in, in, even in the civil engineering field. I don't know that anyone has ever worked on something quite as complex as uh, trying to remake the, the Mississippi River. But coastal restoration in Louisiana will cost billions, and state officials want Congress to pay for it with royalties from new offshore oil leases. This is about protecting critical energy infrastructure that is all located onshore Louisiana that supports more than 80% of the nation's domestic offshore oil and gas supply. Everything that happens on Louisiana's coast directly impacts every citizen in this country. But getting federal help on such a grand scale is proving to be a very hard sell in Washington. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.